All right, so now we're gonna take a look at elbow flexion and elbow flexion, the patient is gonna be short sitting and um, we are gonna uh, break down the three different forearm positions to do biceps, brachii, brachioradialis, and brachialis. The first thing we are going to do is um, have the patient bring your arm ups like so. So again, I want you to complete this range of motion. Make sure that wrist is in neutral. They're not trying to do any wrist flexion to assist at that elbow. Um, so go ahead and do that now. Okay, so automatically we know she has a grade three. And as you see, um, I'm just supporting here at the, um, uh, at the elbow. But now when I actually apply resistance, I'm going to contour my hand over the shoulder, apply resistance over that wrist, hold that position. This is gonna be for the brachy, um, uh, biceps, brach biceps brachii. Hold that position, don't let me move you. Five, if she does not yield. Four, she's gonna yield a little bit. And we already saw the three as she pulled up, okay? So now we're gonna to change to brachioradialis, which is gonna be like the hammer position. Just imagine, squeeze my fingers. Imagine like she's holding a hammer and she's gonna be hammer, hammer, hammer down. So that's what it looks like. And we're looking at this muscle right here, that brachioradialis. So I'm gonna hold this here again, bring that up like so. Go ahead and do that for me. There, we automatically know she's a grade three for that. Okay, now I want you to bring that up again just like that. Go ahead for me. Hold that, don't let me move you. Five, four, and three, or the, or five and four are the same. So hold that, don't let me move you. Okay, she does a yield, a four, and she's gonna yield, and then a three, we already saw. Okay, um, and then we're gonna go into the <clears throat> pronated position, and this is gonna be for the brachialis muscle. <clears throat> brachialis muscle is gonna be deep into here, okay? So what I want you to do now is bring it up just like so. Go ahead and do that for me. Perfect, hold that, don't let me move you. Contour the hand over that shoulder. Hold, don't let me move you. Okay, now if you notice, she does have a little bit of a, a movement from here to here, but that's, no, that's not a big deal, okay? That's the, the, sh the arm is not breaking. So hold that, don't let me move you. Great, okay, so that's five. Four is the yielding, and we already saw the three, okay? So now what we're gonna do is gonna bring her up to a gravity reduced position. Um, I'm gonna sub uh, stabilize here, or um, cradle here at the arm, and you want her to bring it across like so, okay? So again, the same three arm positions, I don't need to discuss them again because I think we've already got that. But um, with her supinated biceps brachii, hammer or neutral position, brachioradialis, pronated, it is going to be um, brachialis, okay? So it's gonna be the, all of the same, th same three things here. Uh, so you're gonna hold her at about uh, 90 degrees of abduction and have her bring it across like so. Okay, go ahead, there you go. So that is a two. Um, and then a one is going to be, all your palpations are going to be in supine, um, but get them, get them in those correct forearm positions. And um, you're really not going to be able to discern between what's what because of the, the tissues are all, you know, lying on top of each other. But um, you're going to be feeling for that contractile activity for that trace or grade one.